Hello everyone in Cyberworld, I'm Richard, also known as Poor Man. And I'm Jennifer, also known as Mrs. Poor Man. This is our channel, we call Poor Man's DIY, and we welcome you here. This week we're introducing our video from the lighthouse on Diamond Head Road. That's pretty cool. If you enjoy our channel, please subscribe below. Okay, this week we're gonna be doing something that we've been putting off for over a year, and it's time we have to finally get to it. Um, we have to unclog a bathroom sink. So for all your old schoolers out there, it's grody to the max. <laughs> yes, as I mentioned, we're gonna be showing you uh, several different options that you could do. Um, hopefully some of the real easy ones uh, you'll be able to do and it'll clear up your, your, your sink without having to use any kind of harsh chemicals or any chemicals at all. So let's go ahead and head on over and show you what we're gonna do. And cue music. Okay, so the first option we're gonna show you how to, to unclog the drain is by using a sink plunger um, and just like a regular toilet plunger, it's the same concept where you're gonna force water down there and hopefully um, open up the drain. Uh, keep in mind, there's another thing that you should probably have, a towel or something. Um, eh, let's just stick with a towel. Let's take a look at how we're gonna do this. Okay, now the, in the sink itself, there may be a drain hole here or, a, or on, on the opposite side. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you cover that hole because as you push this, everything's gonna come pouring out of that one there. Um, we've actually closed this down just uh, for to show you what we're going to do. In reality, um, our drain's not clogged, but it's a really slow drain. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the plunger on it and simply push. And hopefully that will... Actually, that made a little bit of a difference. But we're still going to show you um, everything, the other options to do on this one here. So this is what we're going to be working with underneath the sink. But we're gonna explain some things, hopefully in some easier terms for you to understand using poor man terminology. Okay, so here we have the piece that um, you pull up and down for the stopper, which is, that goes up and down. Okay, so first we're gonna to have to disconnect that and uh, so that we can remove the stopper out of the sink itself. We begin by removing the clip in the strap. We remove the rod that is connected to the stopper. Then you remove the stopper and clean it off. I already did this in advance because it looked pretty bad. So the next thing that we're gonna be working on is actually cleaning out the pipes underneath the sink. So here we have is the horseshoe shaped thingamabob that we're gonna be removing. <laughs> Let's take a look. Be sure to place a bucket under the thingamabob. Then unscrew the doohickeys and remove the horseshoe. To clean out this pipe, stuff it with paper towels and jam it through with any kind of rod you have available. Be sure to reassemble the P-trap after you've cleaned the pipes. For the final option, we're going to use a snake. Place the head of the snake down the drain. Then spin the whatchamacallit clockwise, and it will slowly work its way down the pipe. Once it reaches the blockage, continue going forward for a little while, then reverse the process. However, run the sink water as the snake comes out. Now, let's see how all this work turned out. So here we are running the water. Looks fantastic, no more clogs. 
And there you have it. Um, kind of a disgusting project, but it's something that comes in handy for all of us. You can save a ton of money by doing it on your own, and uh, hopefully we were able to show you it's not that difficult. You don't need a lot of tools. Um, you can always go to use the chemicals and whatnot, but this is just a way that we thought uh, we might be able to show you that you can do things um, and be safe for the environment and, and save a lot of money and do it on your own. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please enjoy our Hawaii scenery. And until next week, bye-bye.